Yo, today we're going to be talking about everything we know about the upcoming set of Scarlet and Violet Surging Spark. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing I would like to note is that the logo actually looks very unique and for a Scarlet and Violet set it actually looks super sick. I, I, I like the way it looks a lot. Uh, this set is going to release on November 8th, so in about a month, exactly a month when I'm recording this. And it's going to be made of two Japanese sets. So one set's going to be Paradise Dragona, and the other one's going to be Supercharged Breaker. Uh, we have a lot of info on Paradise Dragona. We don't have, um, we have very little on Supercharged Breaker. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what we got. This set's actually going to have 250 plus cards, which is a lot considering a lot of the other sets have been smaller. Uh, I think Stellar Crown's going to be a little bit less than that. I think it's like 170 uh, cards in total so this set actually is, is a lot bigger and that's because it's combining two sets from the Japanese side uh, it does contain 23 illustration rares which is a disgusting amount like that is an incredible amount that's why a lot of you see a lot of people pre-ordering and stuff like that I actually made a video about that if you want to take a look at it I'll leave it linked in the description or I'll put it there in the top right. It also has 11 special illustration rares, which is unheard of. That is a lot of SIRs, uh, which are definitely going to be cards you're going to be hunting for. And then 6 gold cards, which is also a good amount. Of, so uh, this set on paper looks like it's going to be very good. The other set that has this many is like Paldea Evolve, which is another set that people consider top tier. Uh, and it's definitely up there for me. Uh, but with this many illustration rares and special illustration rares, it just makes you think this set's going to be a banger. Alright, we have talked about how many illustration rares this set's going to have. But let's go ahead and look at a couple of them and let's take a look, see what you guys think. And I'm going to tell you what I think about them and then we can make our own conclusions from here. Uh, like I said, this is just a video to inform you of what's in the set. I see a lot of people pre-ordering, a lot of people saying buy now. I would not recommend to buy now. Take a look at uh, these cards. If you like them, go ahead and pre-order. If you don't like them, you know stay away from it or you can wait till it releases so that just don't spend all your money on something that you don't know 100 percent what's going to be in the set and what's not going to be in the set the first card is going to be execute uh and this card actually looks very nice uh these eggs look like they're getting into some type of trouble looks like they're rollerblading playing tennis basketball and skateboarding a whole bunch of stuff uh very cute card and then we got shinotic um not much to say about this card i don't even know what this Pokemon is, bro. Honestly, to be completely honest with you, I've never seen this Pokemon before in my life. Maybe it comes out of the anime, uh, but I haven't really, I haven't really seen this Pokemon. Not, not much to say here. Uh, this cast form card looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it looks like Sunny's up here. There's a water one. Uh, there's a base one, but everything here looks phenomenal. This card could be worth a decent amount of money, and I think it's very nice. It's definitely one of the cards that I very much enjoy. Uh, but not enough to like pre-order a whole case of ETBs for it. Uh, I like the card, just not a disgusting amount. The next card's gonna be Bruxish. I think I budget that. I'm not 100% sure, but this card doesn't look that cool to me. Uh, the fish, the design on it, I really don't like that it has teeth. That looks extremely weird to me. Um, the background's kind of cool. I wish it was higher quality so I could actually see a little bit more. But the background seems really cool, but the Pokemon itself, the design doesn't look amazing, and I really, really don't like those teeth. Alright, the next one we got is gonna be Latios, which this card looks phenomenal. I wish it was an SIR so it could have that texture, uh, but it looks like we're just gonna get it as a regular IR. Which I'm not complaining about, this card still looks very beautiful. Um, this is definitely one of the cards that people are going to be buying the set for, uh, especially if you're a big Latios fan. I could see that uh, being a thing because this card, it looks very beautiful. It looks like the sunset and he's flying and just, you know, beautiful card. The next one's going to be another Pokemon, which I know very little of. I haven't really seen this Pokemon too often. I I, I, mean, I couldn't tell you, bro. It's going to be Setitan. Uh, I probably butchered that. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I don't even know how to read. Um, but this card looks a little bit basic to me. I know a lot of people, I don't know, maybe it's underrated, but I don't like this card at all. Um, there's the whale Pokemon here down here, which is kind of cool, but he himself up here doesn't look too amazing. Uh, not much to say about that one. Next one though is going to be uh, Vibrava. This card is beautiful. I think this card looks absolutely amazing. I think a lot of people love this evolution line. Uh, and it just looks so cute. It looks like it's just in its natural habitat and everything around it looks beautiful. This is going to be a card that even if I don't complete the set, I'm definitely going to be picking up this card because it looks so nice. Another card that looks very good to me is the Flapple. I think this card looks phenomenal. The way it's drawn, it looks so nice to me. The background looks so detailed. The Pokemon is like right in the center. So 
it like really grabs your attention i think this card is super nice um definitely another card that i'm gonna pick up even if i don't end up completing the set the last two illustration rares that we know of that are available to us like i said there's gonna be more these are just the ones that we know of uh it's gonna be appleton which looks kind of cute looks like it's in a apple farm doing its thing very nice i like it um not much to complain about that i just think it's a cute card overall and then braviary which this card oh man i wish it was it was a little bit better quality for you guys sorry about that that's the best image i could find but this card looks phenomenal um, um i mean this card looks super good if there's more cards of this level of quality it, this set's gonna be absolutely goaded but this is one of the top cards for me i think this might be my favorite card uh, of the entire set that we know so far all right, we're going to be moving on to the full arts now. So there's going to be full art trainers and one full art Pokemon that we know of. Uh, so Kyren is going to be right here. Card looks very nice. I'm never a big fan of the full art Pokemon, so I'm not going to say a whole lot about that card. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I know some people are, but I'm just not. So it's not really fair to say like, oh, it's a terrible card because I just don't like a lot of the full arts. So it's not anything specific with this set. All right, the next couple of trainers is going to be Drosna, Drayton, and Lysia. So this Drosna looks very cool. It looks like kind of like a grandma or something, but it looks like she's having fun. I like this picture. Uh, Drayton, uh, not a whole lot of detail in this card. He looks kind of cool, or they look kind of cool. And then Lysia, which I know a lot of people like. Um, just like a little kid over here dancing or something like that. Um, none of these cards for me do anything. I don't like any of the full art trainers. Um, I could... I, get them if i'm gonna complete a set but i never go out of my way to be like oh my god did you see that drosna looks so cool let me pick it up like i'm not really that type of guy uh but i know some people are some people really enjoy these cards and hopefully for them they like it um if you do enjoy those cards let me know down in the comments um maybe you can give me some insight of why you like them so much and maybe i don't know i grab an idea of, of what it is that people enjoy about these cards all right the last couple cards we're gonna take a look at here and probably the most light cards the the ones that are, might be chase cards it's gonna be this latias which is gonna have some texture which looks absolutely beautiful it goes exactly like the way it would with uh, latios so latios and latias go together i wish they were both sirs that would be so nice but this one looks like it's gonna have the texture uh it looks like it is facing the same sunset it looks like it's flying very nice card uh, a lot of people also pre-ordered <laughs> just by looking at those two cards so i mean that card's very nice to me as well uh but just not like s tier or like a card that i think is gonna be worth like a disgusting amount of money uh the second sr that i want to talk about is going to be a lowland executor so a lot of people say they don't like the the terra pokemons they don't like the little crowns uh they don't like the alolan executor overall but i'm a big fan of this card i think the rainbow border looks absolutely sick the crown doesn't look too bad it's right in the center so they're not hiding it at all um a lowland executor actually looks very nice in this he looks enormous uh there's some palm trees in the back so you can kind of get a perspective of how big this guy actually is but definitely a top tier card for me. I really, really like this card. All right, another card that people have been crying about and saying, oh my God, I can't believe they gave us this card. It's the Arcaladon. I very much, I, I like this Pokemon. This Pokemon looks cool. I, I mean, you know, people are saying like, oh, it's a building, it's moving, it's a skyscraper or whatever. I mean, I don't know. People are going to complain about everything, but I really like this card. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this design of, of, of this card. Like there's not a lot, whole lot of detail and stuff like that. Uh, maybe once I see it in person, it'll look nicer. Maybe we get some more high quality renders. It'll look nicer, but... For right now, it's a pretty mid card, but I don't like that so many people are crying about it. Like, you know, just be grateful for what Pokemons they give us. All right, lastly, I want to talk about some of the products. So, it's going to have a booster box, a booster bundle, and an ETB, which looks phenomenal. Look at this Magneton promo card. I mean, that looks absolutely sick on the top right. It's the same person that did the magic card, so you know it's already going to be a banger. And you definitely, if you can, you should definitely get the Pokemon Center exclusive because it's gonna have that stamp and it's gonna be worth a whole lot of money if you're into that. If not, you wanna get the regular card, just get the regular ETB. It's gonna be the same exact card minus a stamp, uh, but super sick product. Uh, for sure, I'm gonna pick up an ETB from the Pokemon Center at least. All right, but that is actually everything we know about this set so far. I will make an update video if you guys want me to, uh, but that's everything we know so far. I showed you guys all the cards. You guys can make an informed decision. If you want to pre-order, go ahead. If you want to wait, that's what I would recommend. Look at a couple more cards. See if you really like this set, then go ahead and uh, and pre-order it. But like I said, I'm going to be making update videos on it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the set. Or is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Do you guys like it? Do you guys think it's overrated? 
Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. It's your next year, Hulk. Peace.